Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashersnet here, and today we're going to talk about Transformers Legacy Prime Universe RC. Now, if you don't know, uh, this version of RC is from the Prime animated series, and if you paid attention to Transformers Legends at all, this RC is also the niece to the original Generation 1 RC, and cousin to Beast Wars Rat Trap. So this RC of course has some ninja kickbuck action and is a motorcycle just like Prowl from an animated series. And when we get back, we're gonna take a look at this deluxe figure. And in front of us, we have Transformers Generation Legacy Deluxe Class Prime Universe RC. Man, that is a long name. But uh, as you see in the background, of course, we have her grandmother, the original RC from Generation 1, and her cousin Rat Trap from Beast Wars. And um, as I said in the opening, if you don't get the reference, look up the Japanese uh, Transformers Legends comic. Anyway, so before we get into RC here, let's put her aside and look at the box real quick. And of course, it has her in her uh, alt form on the front, her bot form on the side, uh, her transformation on the back and the usual side panel and um, inside the box cardboard instructions don't hurt yourself paper uh, let's put this away and move on so RC transforms in a motorcycle uh, she is sort of a parts former which isn't a surprise based on uh, her namesake and um, like I'm, I'm going to take parts off of her. Uh, in transformation, it's actually a little bit easier if these aren't on her. And this little, I don't I want to say it's supposed to be a drone or something. Uh, it, it probably describe it describes it in the instructions, obviously, but I mean, you can make it whatever you want it to be. I mean, this, this looks like a drone to me rather than some type of weapon. Although I do like the coloring on the inside. Um, and then of course, this is the front end of the motorcycle. And then this is the Energon weapon. Uh, whatever it does. Um, it reminds me of Destructo Disc from Dragon Ball. So um, maybe now she can cut Frieza in half. So put those aside. Uh, this of course is the front end as you can see. Uh, it's a nice um, Kawasaki style motorcycle. Uh, what we here in Ohio call crotch rocket. <laughs> uh, moving that over. Now uh, with all that removed let's compare a little bit to her grandmother here and um, both the Lex classes of course are about the same height you can tell they're going for the fembot aesthetic because they are they're thin with the thick thighs uh, of course they have the big stabilizing feet because they need them because there's so much backpack of course rc's backpack can come off and uh you can see the little bit of pink that you know says hey this is an rc a uh, whole lot of waffle but i guess in this case it's kind of necessary because uh, these all fold out and uh, generally, uh, yay, I'm going to real quickly, this is a core class versus deluxe class. There's you know, no, uh, no comparison there, plus he's a beast, you know, instead of a vehicle. Um, I couldn't think of a transformer that has a similar mode. I mean, even Rekkar's is a little bit different. Uh, he kind of just folds up in himself. She does this weird thing, she wraps her legs around her entire body. Uh, which we'll get into in a second. Let me put RC back here. And then with this RC, uh, we've taken everything off of her. And um, she has an interesting transformation. And this skirt piece here, after you, you uh, take this apart, because it actually snaps comfortably into place, uh, or the, uh, the top piece does. But then once you unsnap it, uh, anyway, pull this out, because just, you know, what's going to happen is you're going to spin this around and it's going to end up going over her head because you're going to attach the motorcycle to the front here and that's how her head gets covered and um, her shoulders disjoint and you're going to end up completing the bike seat uh, before you do too much but uh, let's see uh, turn her waist and then pull this all up and then we're going to spread her legs a little bit and move this piece around and we're going to let's see if I remember. We're going to combine these if we can get the arms in the right place. Got to make sure that the shoulders. Oops. If the arm comes off, just re-tab it in. 
make sure the shoulder's in the right place. Because they have to be like right here, like this. And then you tab in the arms. And they do this. And uh, so you were like, well, this is kind of weird. Her legs are now stuck up here. And yes, it, it is weird. Uh, but her legs get unfolded. And um, start off by folding the feet in on, onto the stabilizers. And uh, we're going to pull these legs like this so I can do it like this. Uh, pull these out. Pull this out. This uh, little piece here plugs into this little pipe here. This makes me think it's going to be a little bit fragile and I worry about it a little bit. Because these are some thin pieces. I, I don't see any wear marks. But uh, over time you never know. And uh, unfold the tires. And <laughs> this reminds me of Arachnid how her legs are uh, anyway so the the shoulders here uh, basically hold the legs and um, if you have to move the, the column out of the way a little bit you know have at it just make sure you don't get stuck there and you know just fold her over herself and uh, so far so good now I, I as I was doing this previously I'm, I'm like where is there a place where to tab in on this bottom half but there isn't. It relies on the the front end here to, to kind of hold it together, and I don't know if I care for that too much. But you know, I don't I don't have a choice in the matter, so whatever. But um, once you get that lined up, you have to connect the tires, and uh, gotta find the pegs and line up the one that's not the same into the hole. There we go. Rolls rather nicely. There is a kickstand here, by the way, which is movable. Um, so I'm going to straighten up the hand a little bit here. So basically what you end up with is the back end of the motorcycle. Then you take the front piece and you will put it on here, making sure to line up the front end. And what you're going to do is you're going to end up tabbing in these, there's kind of like an L piece that tabs in here. And you're going to kind of finesse it into place if this doesn't keep falling off. Oh, come on. Do it on the other side. And this will this will generally lock everything into place. So then the next pit is you take this piece here, you fold it again, try to match up the missing peg. Here we go. Just we'll go around, make sure it's all good. Uh, this is the front because of the uh, cover here. Uh, you can tell I'm totally not mechanical in any way. <laughs> I'm sure there are people who do a lot better job. Now the front tire seems to roam a lot freer than the back, but whatever. So the structural disc is in half. You can put it on pretty much anywhere you want. Uh, some designs have it up here. Uh, I, I'm kind of a fan of having it down on the bottom here. And here we go. Here is RC complete. I don't know if I like the headlights being blue, but I can't remember if the animation model had it blue. But I um, mean, she looks pretty good. You can kind of tell. I mean, she's a robot, but it. Uh, See if I can get the kickstand to do its job. Here we go. So she does stand on her own. Uh, I, I think she's pretty good. I uh, the transformation, like, because I try to do these things without uh, using the instructions right away, and I just could not figure out that she did this—the whole looping around her front end bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, there she does. So the tires roll pretty well. So there's nice. Nice bit of friction, even though there isn't much tread per se, uh, but they, they are loose enough to, to grab on. And uh, kind of like, can somebody fit on top of there? So let's find out. Now I'm going to detach uh, Arcee's back end here and uh, see if she can ride her granddaughter. Man, that sounded bad. She's going to ride her granddaughter. Okay, so... Uh, anybody who knows you ride your bikes 
you ride with your legs back. And let's see if I can get her to grab the steering wheel or, or the column here, the handlebars. Come on. Get her fold her feet in here. There we go. RC riding RC. That is that is cool. That is awesome. So another deluxe figure can ride her, which makes sense when when other Voyager figures can ride Rekar. Well, also you know deluxe figures, but I mean <laughs> the, the Rekar is meant to be ridden by other junkyard uh, junkion, so you know it makes sense. So yeah, that's uh that's RC. I have yet to see the perfect RC. I like the previous RC from War for Cybertron. I like this Legacy RC because I like the classic G1 RC and because I like the Prime RC. Now, obviously there's probably Masterpiece or, or the red versions of each respectively that you could pick up if you really wanted a definitive version. But for the deluxe class price and for having just it in my collection that transforms into its actual form and it looks pretty close. Obviously they can't one for one it on this price point. I'm okay with it. Now let me know in the comments if you have purchased either RC. Uh, which is your favorite? Do you like either of them? There's a lot of people who don't, don't, don't at all. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe.